I trust that most people here know about the Dakota Access Pipeline. Um, the issues are threefold, and I'll tell you what we are trying to do. And I think your description of the situation is, is, is correct. Uh, number one, we're dealing with uh, sovereignty rights for Native American people, an invasion of their own property, and violation of treaty rights, which is an endemic problem in this country. Uh, number two, you're talking about an area where if the pipe burst, water, clean water that goes to millions of people in that region uh, could be severely impacted at a time when we're all concerned about the amount of clean water that we have. Uh, and thirdly, and most importantly, perhaps, you're talking about whether or not we should be in any way supporting a pipeline which is piping in filthy oil at a time when we need to transform our energy system away from fossil fuel to energy efficiency and sustainable energy. So those are the three issues there. I think uh, what we have done is, number one, uh, demanded that the president do what he did with Keystone. A lot of people put a lot of pressure on the president, and he finally did the right thing, and that is to kill the Keystone pipeline, which, by the way, under Trump may be reopened again. Uh, but that is what he should be doing. And certainly, the demand must go to the North Dakota authorities that the kind of military presence that exists there is simply not what is acceptable. So we have written to the president. We are going to continue to put pressure on the president uh, to do everything he, can, everything he can to protect the Native Americans in the area uh, and the protesters in the area.